Hey, 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 everybody. I got another Dino Riders toy review. Right now, I have the Strathiomimus, one of the Valorian dinosaurs. This is definitely one of the simpler figures from the Dino Riders toy line. This this belongs to Series 2. Um, and I say simple because in terms of posability, he really doesn't have any. Uh, the arms can move forward and back, so I guess you can, can kind of consider that posability. Um, but the legs, although it seems like they move, you really can't. So they're actually glued on that way. And the tail here comes down so that the dinosaur assumes this tripod stance, which we know is not scientifically accurate. Um, it looks pretty good nonetheless, but really in terms of posability, you're, you're really not getting anything. Here we have a soft plastic in the end. Uh, the neck is of a rubbery plastic, but it does not offer enough movement for you to actually consider it a point of articulation. Um, the head sculpt is quite nice. has that long narrow snout that's reminiscent of ornithomimids. Um, the texturing, it actually kind of looks like it's covered with feather, this dinosaur. Which is, uh, which is kind of strange because I did not think that at the time of Dino Riders, you know, 1986, 1987, uh, I did not think that they, actually, they already thought dinosaurs were covered with feather. But this dinosaur, the texturing really looks like it actually does have feather. So that's actually kind of cool. Um, whatever. Not, not not super interesting to a lot of you. Um, so yeah, that's the figure itself. Let me show you the main body harness here. Uh, very simple looking, but it's actually pretty cool. Has this little uh, back. Uh, this little, I don't know what you would call this, the the, the backrest of a seat, which kind of rotates, which I don't understand why. Um, and two pegs for the uh, other equipment. So the way this clips on is you just really slide it on the body of the Strathiomimus. On the left side of the Strathiomimus, you have this uh, I don't quite remember what they call this, but it's kind of, it's basically just like luggage. <laughs> it's a storage compartment, basically. Um, and you can put extra gun tips there, which is what they suggested. I think the toy itself even had extra gun tips, so you could put them in there in case you lost them, which is kind of cool. I like that from Psycho. But the hinges on this really is not a, it's not a real hinge, it's actually just very thin plastic that kind of loops around so don't play around with that too much because it'll break um, let me just close that up uh, there we go um, so really on the left side he has this little storage compartment it's pretty cool looking looks like a huge rocket or something on the left on the r right side of Strathiomimus you have another one of these generic cannons uh, really nothing new there, just peg that on the right side, again rotates up and down, all around. Um, the character that comes with the Strathiomimus is Nimbus, he's actually the same body sculpt as um, Lad. I realize I have not even done the, that, the pterodactyl review, so uh, <laughs> unless you're familiar with the, to with the toys or with the series, you actually don't know who I'm talking about. Um, but really he has he has like a khaki suit here, a uh, blue chest plate, some blue gloves, dark brown boots, a uh, blue headband, brown hair. In terms of articulation, really nothing new there as well. Um let me put him on the fig on the dinosaur. Uh so you just put it on like that. It's kinda leaning back a bit, which is a bit odd, but uh, that's the way it's supposed to be, I guess. Um, and it's kind of a funky mechanism here. It, when you look at this, it does, really does not look like the typical seats of the Dino Rider toy line. Um, it has this hole in the middle, and that's actually where his, uh, his butt cheeks go. Uh, his legs wrap around this T in front here, and his butt just goes in there. And what's kind of funky is you have like a crotch piece that really holds him there. This actually presses against his uh, pubic bone. Um, so really does not look like a comfortable ride if you ask me. Um, I really would rather be riding the Diplodocus. Because <laughs> um, that little containment unit on top looks like it even has air conditioning. Um, so there you go, that's the Strathiomimus. Um, really in terms of posability, not a lot. Aesthetically... It's quite pleasing though. Um, I really love the way the neck kind of has that S shape. 
uh, the tripod stance really isn't that bad. Uh, a cool looking figure. It would have been nice to have like an action to be able to put him in an action pose, just because Strathiomimus are known to be quite quick. Um, and instead, we get this portrayal of a Strathiomimus that's rather static. Nonetheless, uh, pretty cool pickup. Unfortunately, this actually is one of the more expensive ones, just because again, it's one of the series two toys. Um, and it's hard to come by. Uh, there really wasn't as many release as, say, like the the Monoclonius and all that from the series one. So a little harder to come by, but still, you can still find them on eBay. Um, again, you know, uh, recently I saw on eBay. Uh, I don't know if it was mint in box, but it was they, but it had a buy it now price of like seventy dollars. Kind of reasonable, but uh, mind you, this is really one of the smaller figures, so uh, just take that into consideration uh, when you're kind of deciding if you really want to dish out that much money for this figure. Um, if you find a reasonable, well, if you find a reasonable price, you really will not be disappointed. It's a pretty cool-looking figure. So there you have it, guys. That's the Strathiomimus. Take it easy.